Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to discuss how to get your motive wave charting to look exactly like this. I've had a couple people ask, how do you get your charts to look this way? So motive wave can be pretty intense if you're newer to this piece of software. There are a lot of different menus and things you can really go down the rabbit hole with. Um, so if you do like to customize things, motive wave is a great piece of software. Um, it runs on a Mac, it runs on Windows. Um, so I do recommend this software, especially if you're running on a Macintosh and you're trading futures with prop firms. So let's dive in. So right here, I have a basic setup, um, pretty clean charts where I don't have any indicators on. I have a daily, a 90 minute and a 15 minute chart right here. So I can change the time frame down below. You can see a month, week, day, whatever you want. You can quickly click back and forth and it will adjust. Um, you can add or whatever you want to do for those as well. Um, if you have like your favorite types of time frames, you right click, hit configure, and you can see that these are my favorites, the bar size selectors, and I can add a different time frame. Like I could literally make anything up. So if we just say 36 minute chart, hit okay, apply, and now it's on here. So I don't know if anyone trades off a 36 minute chart, but maybe that is the actual key to success in trading futures, who knows? So I can click that and you can see now it's a 36 minute chart. So you can get really funky with this thing. So let's go into how I got this color scheme. Cause I think that's what a lot of people are after is how do you get the charts to look like this? So if you right click on this chart and go to chart settings, it's going to open up a whole plethora of just more menus and stuff that you can go into. So this first one, this general is basically like the crosshairs and all that stuff. I like those. You don't have to have them clicked. I think it's um, nice to have it show up on the other charts or the other windows. So that's how I do that. So let's go to theme. That's what we're going to be looking at. And you can see I have a chart theme is light gray. There's a drop down menu for other ones I can uh, choose from. Some of them I created, some of them were built in. And then the bar theme is the candlestick bar colors that we have going right now. Okay, so let's go in and edit the bar theme. So I'm gonna hit custom. And you can see here, this little plus one, if you're creating a new one, you would hit plus, you would give it a name, and then you would adjust your colors on how you want your bars to look. So I've already got one that I customized right here called light good. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to name it. Now over here, my up bar, I created a nice color. I'm going to hit more color so you can get the actual RGB um, template if you want this color. So go ahead and pause your screen if you want these actual numbers to get the identical um, color scheme that I'm using. So you can see those right there, the red, green, and blue. Copy those, enter them into Motive Wave, and you should have the same color scheme as me. So we'll hit OK. Down bar is just black, so just hit the black one. Outline, I did the same thing, just dark. And then you're going to be able to hit OK. I didn't save anything or adjust anything, so I'm just going to hit Cancel. And then over here, Chart Themes, you can see there's several other ones. You can create your own as well by hitting a plus. Um, the light gray one is a built-in one, so I can't really edit it, but like this dark, I can edit it to change the background and everything like that. But I like the way the built-in light gray one um, came. So I've been using that with the different customized bar theme. So now I go back to my theme. Window theme is dark. I like the black surrounding um, down low and everything like that. And then plus on the dome, I like it when it's the black background. So I keep it as dark. You can go ahead and mess around and put it to light if you want to do that. I believe you have to restart Motive Wave if you're switching the window theme from dark to light, just FYI. Okay, so there we go. I got light gray for my chart theme, bar theme, light good. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now it looks great. I like the way this looks. I'm going to save this as a template. I'm going to go down to template, save as, and I've actually already saved it as YouTube demo. 
So you can name it whatever you want, but I think it's a good idea to save anything that you create that you like, just in case somehow you mess up and it goes away. Um, you can easily bring it back with the template. Okay, so now that I have created that template, I can switch back and forth between a couple other color schemes that I might have, might have created um, by going to template. And then here's the, just a dark color theme. So you can see a dark background, red, green candles, um, real easy to use. So you might switch back and forth between things and they might start to look different. You might be going, I didn't change anything. Well, here's one thing in Motive Wave that will change a lot of times when you go to dark and light backgrounds is up over here on this top menu bar where there's all these icons, there's this drop down where it's like open high low uh, candles, um, regular candlestick, Heikinashi, you can do line, all sorts of different things. This one is, if I were to, this is candlesticks flat. If I were to change this to regular candlesticks, it's gonna look a little funky. I don't like the way that looks on a black background. So I personally choose this to flat. I think that looks better. It's more aesthetically pleasing to me. But when I go back to my light study, it's now on flat and then it doesn't have the black outline built in on the candlesticks. And I don't like that. So I'm going to go back over here and just hit regular candlesticks. And that's the way I like to look at my charts on here. Now I do have a dome popped up here. This is something you can turn on and off real easily here just by hitting this dome panel icon up here in the top right. I click it off, it's off. If I want just a real simple basic way to enter, buy, sell, you do that right here. Real easy guys. You can also trade from the chart. Uh, Motive Wave has all sorts of things like over here on the right, you can uh, set up custom ways to right click, left click, get you into orders. Um, all sorts of great things, guys. So just don't be afraid of the menus in Motive Wave. There's so much you can customize. Um, real nice piece of software. Um, I'm going to be going over a couple other things, probably doing some other videos soon on like hotkeys and how I uh, use those when I'm trading with Motive Wave. And anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. All right, take care.